So uh, this is very simply, what are the different components of your missile? Now, can anyone tell me what is the difference between a rocket and a missile? What's the difference between a rocket and a missile? I'm not talking about launchers used in your uh, uh, space endeavors. I'm just talking about uh, rockets and missiles, which are used in your battles for destructive purpose. I, we are not talking about uh, rocket launch vehicles. Anyone quickly, what's the difference between a rocket and a missile? Exactly. Your missile is self-propelled as well as self-guided. Whereas a rocket is only self-propelled, but it does not have this guidance system. We does not, we, it does not have this guidance system. For example, imagine in uh, during Deepavali, most of you would have fired rockets or you would have at least seen the firing of rockets. Correct? Now, those rockets, for example, even uh, during Deepavali when firing these rockets, maybe you would have aimed that particular rocket in some particular direction. Correct? Now, you can only hope that that particular rocket will fly in that direction. But it is not necessarily that it will hit the target. You can only hope that you are aiming it in the correct direction and then fire it. It is only self-propelled, but it does, but it lacks the guidance system. Whereas this missile has a targeting and a control system, which helps in guidance to hit the target accurately. Whereas the rockets will only have the first two things mostly, warhead as well as a propulsion. Clear? So this is the basic difference between a rocket and a missile. So what is the warhead? Warhead is the destructive part of the missile. You have propulsion. Uh, many of these engines today can have a normal jet engine or they even make use of ramjet engine, for example. Okay, our BrahMos missile, for example, they may make use of ramjet engine. So we've discussed what is a ramjet engine in space. So this is your propulsion to power the missile. Then you have the targeting system. Now, mostly the targeting system always makes use of electromagnetic radiations. It could be radio waves, it could be visible light, or it could be microwaves. It could even be infrared radiations where the missile can lock onto the heat signature of the target to continuously follow and hit the target accurately. Whereas the control system is nothing but a flight system which will maneuver the flight of the missile continuously to counter inaccuracies based on the information received by the targeting system. Right? So these are the basic, very uh, no, not very important, uh, not important for your exam perspective, but we, I, I just thought that no, I'll just explain what is a missile and what are the few basic components of a missile. Now, we actually classify missiles based on various characteristic characteristics of uh, of a missile so we can actually classify the missile based on a range now this particular classification of range of missiles that i've mentioned over here it's not that it is written in a uh, stone depending on which source that you refer uh, the range might change or it might slightly vary but more or less missiles are always classified as short range missile having a range of up to 100 kilometers, for example. Medium, if it is, if it has a range of 100 to 1,500 kilometers. Intermediate range missiles, if it has a range of up to 5,000 kilometers. And intercontinental, if uh, the range of the missile is more than 5,000 kilometers. Okay, so we can classify the missiles based on the range. Next, we can also classify the missiles based on its trajectory into a ballistic missile and a cruise missile. Now, I'm pretty sure you'd have, if you've been reading the news, you'd have come across terms like ballistic missile. India has developed a ballistic missile or say uh, China used a ballistic missile, USA used a ballistic missile, Iran is developing ballistic missile, for example. So what is this ballistic missile? How is it different from a cruise missile? Anyone? Uh, yes, I think, yes, uh, you can call it as, you know, it falls under gravity on its uh, target. Now, what I'm trying to say is that, for example, see, uh, 
the best way for me to explain it is that for example you are throwing a stone you are throwing a stone for example you are here and you are throwing a stone and say the target is here okay so say this is a dustbin or whatever it is you are throwing a ball of paper or you are throwing a stone into this dustbin for example into this garbage bin for example okay so what would you do you will mentally measure the distance between you and the bin and depending on that distance you will kind of aim and then throw the stone correct so you would throw the stone like this in this you know kind of a parabolic trajectory and depending on the distance and you would put that amount of force which is required to hit the target but it's not necessary that the stone will always fall into the bin or it will hit the bin the stone might fall here or the stone might fall over or after the target so this is your ballistic missile so what i'm trying to say is that a ballistic missile just like you throwing a stone see the stone does not have its own power as such meaning until and unless uh sorry until it leaves your hand once it leaves your hand it does not have power all that boost that is uh, that is required for the stone to travel is provided to it initially until the stone leaves your hand the same thing is with a ballistic missile so what will happen if this is your ballistic missile from here the ballistic missile is powered with the rocket engine it has a engine it has a booster only for a short distance okay it is fired only for a short distance and after that it will follow a projectile motion and you can only hope that it will actually hit the target it is not powered it does not uh, receive guidance throughout its journey it does not receive guidance throughout its journey whereas if you take a cruise missile a cruise missile a cruise missile is powered throughout the entire journey because of which it does not follow a projectile motion rather it can follow a straight line motion it can follow a straight line motion okay so a cruise missile receives power continuously and cruise missiles are generally used for tracking and uh, following a particular target in order to hit the target more accurately whereas ballistic missiles are more of a kind of a probability based attack but as of today based on the development of technology that we have had over the years the uh, accuracy of ballistic missiles is as good as cruise missiles because today we are able to make use of ballistic missiles to even hit moving targets like aircrafts or other ballistic missiles we are able to use ballistic missiles to even intercept ballistic missiles gone are the days when we used to you know kind of depend upon the uh, trajectory of the ballistic missile to actually hit the target so this is the basic difference between a cruise missile as well as a ballistic missile similarly based on the purpose we can classify it into anti tank anti aircraft anti ballistic and anti missile based on the trajectory followed uh sorry for the purpose of uh, sorry uh, the target it can be surface to surface surface to air air to air and air to surface missile okay so this is in simple the missile classification here we have something known as the integrated guided missile development program the integrated guided missile development program now this is actually a very old program but this program is entirely responsible for setting the foundation for india to be self dependent when it comes to development of certain kinds of missiles of course we are still dependent on other countries like russia and usa for certain kinds of missiles you have been reading the newspaper that we have recently imported uh, s400 rockets uh, this missile system from uh, russia but we are self reliant when it comes to certain areas of uh, missile development and it is all thanks to this integrated guided missile development program which was started way back in 1983 under the ministry of defense 
under the ministry of defense to achieve self sufficiency in the development and production of a wide range of comprehensive missiles see by the 1980s itself the defense research and uh, development laboratory they had actually developed competency and expertise in the field of propulsion navigation as well as manufacturing of aerospace materials okay and all of this was thanks to the generous contribution of the soviet union that is russia thanks to soviet technology thanks to soviet technology okay so all these uh, knowledge that we had gained it was consolidated and managed under this integrated guided missile development program and it was implemented by drdo whereas the ordnance factories helped in its manufacturing right so this particular program is no longer uh, 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 ongoing it's not an ongoing program rather this program was shut down in the year 2008 because the objective to develop uh, to develop a wide range of missiles had been achieved and the missiles were also inducted into the armed forces so under this guided missile development program we have actually developed five missiles five important missiles which still play a very very important role in india's defense capabilities fine so we'll just briefly discuss these missiles now the first is named as a short range surface to surface missile and this is known as the prithvi missile now prithvi is actually india's first indigenously sorry indigenously developed ballistic missile it is india's first indigenously developed ballistic missile and this was from the reverse engineering reverse i hope everybody understands what is reverse engineering it was due to reverse engineering of the soviet sa2 rockets now the thing is that way back uh, say around uh, i don't remember the exact year now okay so uh, more than a decade back if i am uh, if i'm not wrong when india was successfully developed this three missile we have something known as mtcr okay i'm sure many of you would have already read about mtcr missile technology control regime so this is nothing but a export control group so when we had developed prithvi missile mtcr which is a uh, which is an informal export control group actually decided to restrict access of of or to any technology that would help india to further its missile development program okay i am i am going to repeat it once we successfully indigenously developed this ballistic missile by the name prithvi mtcr which is an informal group of many nations many developed nations decided to put restrictions on india so that india is not able to access any technology that would help develop its missile development program further okay so this is your mtcr so 